Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting video on RPG Maker MZ. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to make a website and embed your RPG Maker MV or MZ projects directly on that website and you'll be able to do microtransactions or show ads to your customers to make some extra revenue and a whole bunch of other stuff. The possibilities are pretty much um, up to your imagination. Without further ado, let's get started. But before, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification icon to be updated every time I release a new video. It helps me out a lot. And I'm trying to get the thousand likes, guys. Please make sure you smash that like button. The power of cuts. The power of cuts. In order to do what we need to do, there's two uh, tools that we're going to need. The first one is we're going to need a, um, a text editor. Uh, you could pretty much use anyone that you're comfortable with, but the one that I recommend and use is Visual Studio Code. To download it, you just go to this website or you can Google Visual Studio Code and it'll come right up to the website. Um, I'll also leave the links down below for you guys, but Visual Studio Code, come to the website, download it. Um, it's already is downloaded and installed, so I won't be doing that in this video. The next one you're going to need is Node.js. Uh, when you come to the website, um, which is Node.js.org, just hit on the download and it's going to download the version for you after you have downloaded and installed it what you want to do is go to your rpg maker project if you hit file hit development you want to hit web browsers android slash ios you want to exclude the unused files just to keep your file sizes small it will help um, with loading and a whole bunch of other stuff you could do this stuff if you want to you don't really have to but you can if you want to right so everything's regular just output the the document so let's go ahead and output this okay so after you have output it after the file has been exported and everything um, is ready to go and we're gonna go ahead and make a folder wherever you want to save your project to the website to so just go make a folder I'm just gonna make it on the desktop so we're gonna call this my game touching website right so make that folder. Okay, so after the file has been exported, um, navigate to where you want to save the website to. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this folder. Also wanna open up VS Code. So I have that also opened. So when you open it, it's gonna look like this. If it doesn't, it's okay. All you have to do is find that file that you're working with and just drag it to VS Code, right? And then inside that file, go up here to Terminal. If you don't see it, click on this three dots right here. You go to Terminal, hit New Terminal. When you hit New Terminal, you're going to see this terminal down here. So what you need to do is, if you have everything installed correctly, um, and another way to check that is you could type in node, oops, node-v, and it's going to tell you the version of node that you have installed on your computer. That's how you know that um, you're ready to do what we need to do. So if that um, works, then we could continue to the next step. If not, go back and reinstall it um, and make sure it's installed properly. Um, if you need some help, you can Google it um, or type it in the comments down below and I'll be able to help you. But after you get to this part, all you have to do now do is type in MPX create next app latest. So it's MPX create dash next dash app at latest. So we're pretty much going to be using a framework that most industries use to create their website. Well, not industries, but most a lot of companies use to create their websites. We're using React um, and Next. So it's um, a JavaScript library developed by Facebook and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So um, without ado, hit enter. So it's, this is pretty much going to work you through walk you through setting up the project, right? So where it asks you, what do you want to name your project here? You could name it the same thing as the folder, or you could name it whatever you want to. In this instant, we're going to name it. We're just going to leave it as my app. That's fine. It's going to ask you if you want to use TypeScript, say yes. For the most part, just say yes to everything. Yes. Tailwind. Yes. Source directory. No. App router. Yes. And then customize the default import alias. No. Right. So after you do that, it's going to generate pretty much your website for you are good. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to close VS code right now. You didn't have to do it like this. You could have named the, um, this when you were making the project, 
but I'm just gonna name this the same thing as my game, right? I'm gonna go ahead and reopen VS Code. So same thing, instead of dragging the whole folder, now I'm only just gonna drag the actual folder that we're working with, right? I could also CD into it if I want to, but this is just easier. So now we have our website. So if we go back to our terminal, and again, if you forgot how to get to the terminal, you hit this terminal and new terminal, right? To run our website, um, so we're gonna um, generate a server so we can run our website locally. To do that, you have to type in npm run dev. When you do, it's gonna spit out a local server and then the website, I mean, the address for that local website is this, right? Normally it would default to local host um, port 3000, but I have something else running because I'm actually working on a web website for a client. So it's just going to give you the next number up. So if you hold control and click, it's going to open up that website for you. And as you can see, this is the website. If we go back to our code over here. So most of our things that we're going to be working on on the website will be in this app directory right here. So if we click on that, it's going to show you a whole bunch of stuff. These you don't have to worry about right now. We're going to go over the folder structure in a little bit, but let's just go ahead and clear out, clear out the stuff that's here, right? So to do that, we're going to go to pages.tsx. We're going to find this div, the first div under the main, and we're pretty much just going to find the last element that's under the main which happens to be a div, just delete all of that. So the only things you should have now is use your two main. When you save this, all of this will be gone because you've deleted it. And then the last thing we're also going to do is we're going to come in here to our global CSX and we're going to go ahead and just delete everything except for the tailwind stuff because we're going to need that. Save, as you can see, it's now pure white. So let's go over the folder structure a little bit. Actually before, let's um move our let's go ahead and find the exported file so if we go to file and i believe it was documents output mabel i feel like it's the most recent, seven so it's this one right here so what we want to do is we want to take that whole folder and we want to move it into this public folder so just literally copy it into the public folder right also there's a way for you to work on the website and your actual game project at the same time. That way, as you're making updates to your game files is being updated to the website in real time and you don't have to export every time. But this is just an easy general way to get you up and running and not to complicate stuff. Right. So now that everything is here, if we come down to here, we're going to see all of our files to make our game work. And if we actually go into our index, right, dot HTML, if you have live server um, installed, you could actually play the website. You could actually play the game from here, right? Let me go. Cool. Sometimes you got to fix some errors. So if you have live um, preview installed, you could actually preview the website from right there. Um, I ran into an error that I had to fix real quick um, from one of my plugins. Cool. Um, but let's go ahead and get rid of this, right? So let's go ahead and go over the folder structure. That way you guys can kind of understand what's going on. So for the most part, for what we have to do right now, these sh from here all the way to here, these really don't matter. All these are, are the configuration files that um, tell the um, browser what this website is doing, right? Public folder is where you store all your assets for your website. Um, so one of our assets for the website is the actual game um, folder and all of the of its assets so not the node modules we're not going to touch right just know when you install something um in the package it gets it looks up the files that it needs in the node module the next folder we're not going to touch at all so i'm not even going to go explain it um it's actually a hidden folder i think so the main tool folders we're going to be working with is the app folder and the public folder right the public the public folder mainly because that's where our game files are stored the app is where our website is stored, <clears throat> right? So now that we have our game file over there, what we need to do is we need to now put the our website in the... Oh, actually, I'm not done explaining the folder structure. So we have apps, right? So inside apps, 
we have pages right or inside app we have some um some files so the icon right here is pretty much the icon that you see up here in the tab next to where it says create next app you see the icon that's what that uh, represents the global css is pretty much our css stuff we're not going to be using this we're just going to be using tailwind for the css for the most part our layout is pretty much our structure for the website and all the stuff that we need to tell the browser what our website is about so for example the name of our website so we can go ahead and change this over here to mabel right and then description open world RPG, right and then layout here is actually the structure of our website so right here where you see body that's where everything on our website actually lives so for example if i come up here and i type in this is not our website for um, actually so let's go ahead and go back to our actual website which is this one type in hello and i save reload you're gonna see that hello up there i might be getting some errors it's saying something something but that doesn't really matter because we're not really doing anything over there yet right so delete that save this um, so pretty much everything that we're working on right now is in this children's it's in this children thingy right and that's where this page lives right everything that's in the page or anything and the page is pretty much this right so if i want to make another page like for example if i want to do a slash home page right if you see it says four four cannot find what i would have to do is come to this app make a new folder call it home make sure the case matches and then inside that home if i make a page dot jsx or ts x whichever one you're more comfortable with jsx is um just plain old javascript if we reload this now oh we actually um and we have to export that page so right now that page exists don't worry about this yet we're gonna go over that in a little bit so pretty much all you need to know is coming down to your page this is your home page right not your home page but your page without any slashes or anything like that okay so now that we have our files in the public folder our game files in the public folder what we have to do is now come back to our page um our home page which is this page.tsx in between that main that we erased earlier we have to create an iframe which is pretty much an html element that lets you embed other html elements inside of it if um to kind of make it so we're gonna need a couple of things, right? We're going to need, oh, I don't know why that auto completed, delete that. We're gonna need a source, right? SRC, and that's pretty much going to be M A B L slash index dot HTML. If we save, that should appear. So this is now our game file, right? It looks a little bit discombobulated because we have to set some other stuff so class name height 20 let's see what that does so pretty much now we can set the height and the width so if we come if we make a class name so type in class name equals and then we type in h4 i thought that would make it stretch to the whole screen but since it's not let's see if we can get it to stretch the whole screen there we go i love it and then let's also width stretch the screen so when you go on the website, this is what it's going to look like, right? You have the top over here, which doesn't have anything. You have the iframe. Your website will look just like this with the game embedded. Um, you can play it and all that other stuff. Don't worry about this. This is unique to my game. It's also because when I did the export and excluded some files, it didn't, it didn't pick up these files um, as my game needing it. So it's a thing with the with the script, not the game, but it will work. Actually, let's go ahead and fix that real quick. So I'm just gonna copy this. I'm here to our game folder. I'm so here. Is it? Oh, there we go. She's working. So this is a, this is why I left off in my game. So it should bring me back here if I leave. See? So pretty much now we have our game on our own website. From here, you could do a whole bunch of stuff. Like you could show ads at the top to gain revenue as people are playing your game. You could also put like um, 
comments down below so people can comment whatever you want to do if you guys want to learn more about the website stuff i can teach you guys how to make websites probably on a different channel but for the most part yeah and if you want to host this it's as easy as um going to this website so it's called varcel.com you sign up make an account it's completely free and then to export this what you would have to, there's a couple of ways you could do it the easiest way in my opinion to do it is to just i know it's going to get more complicated but get a github account right when you get a github account blah 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 um github is usually integrated with this so what you could do is you could um commit this here github changes that's a lot of changes no i'll publish and we're gonna call that maple and we're gonna make it into a private repository because i don't want people to steal my files right so i was gonna upload it to your github once it uploads it to your github if i type in maple i should have two of them and this one is a private so it's still uploading the file so let's see. so after it's done being published if i go ahead and refresh this and again it's this one right so all the files are here all you have to do is just go to your first for sale add a new project it's going to ask you how do you want to add the project if you have the files um, exported from vs code you can use that or if you're logged into your github already it should come up right here you hit import you name the website you deploy it and it's gonna do its thing it's gonna take some time guys but yeah pretty much we're wrapping up with the video but yeah that's how you get your website um how you get your rpg maker mz and mv mz and mv projects onto a website of your own and then with a little bit of googling and youtube and you can figure out how to do the ads and stuff like that or whatever you want to do um like i said if you connect this up with firebase you could also like track all the information like you could have your people save games on the cloud and then you could do microtransactions if you haven't connected with Stripe and a whole bunch of this stuff but yeah man it's exciting stuff that you guys can do but once this is done i'll show you the website actually the pool. all right so our website is now live as you can see i don't have a domain but this will give me a domain so if we go ahead and go to marvel.versa.app look at that we have our game and i'm going to be taking this down of course because i don't need this to be out right now but yeah guys thank you guys again for tuning in make sure to hit that subscribe button because i definitely need more subscribers also patreon link is down below if you guys want to support 